everyone. This is the sixth week in Easter. During Easter, we are celebrating the joy of Jesus' resurrection. Why is the Easter season so many weeks? Like the disciples who were puzzled at first with Jesus' resurrection, we too need some time to understand. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, If anyone loves me, they will obey me. Then my Father will love them, and we will come to them and live in them. But anyone who doesn't love me won't obey me. What they have heard me say doesn't really come from me, but from the Father who sent me. I have told you these things while I am still with you, but the Holy Spirit will come and help you. Because the Father will send the Spirit to take my place. The Spirit will teach you everything and will remind you of what I said while I was with you. The Gospel of the Lord In this week's Gospel, Jesus tells his disciples about the eternity of God. What is eternity? It means no beginning or end. God has always been there. Why did Jesus want to teach his disciples that God is eternal? Jesus knew he was going back to heaven with God and wanted to make sure his disciples carried on his work. So how did Jesus teach his disciples about the eternity of God? First, he reminded them that following Jesus meant following God. Jesus said that what he has been saying all along comes from God. If we follow Jesus, we're following God, and God comes to be with us. Wow! How amazing is that? God coming to be with us. Just imagine having God with you everywhere you go. Since God was there before Jesus and after, our connection to God can be eternal. Then Jesus told his disciples that after he left, the Holy Spirit would come to take Jesus' place in being with them and guiding them. Jesus did not want his disciples to be alone, so the Holy Spirit would be with them, keeping them connected with God. God is eternal because even as Jesus leaves, the Holy Spirit takes his place, and we never stop having the connection to God. It must have been comforting for Jesus' disciples to know that even when Jesus ascended, that they could still be connected to the eternal God. Have you experienced being connected to God? Did your connection to God last no matter what happened? If so, you experienced a little bit of the eternity of God. If you haven't felt like you've experienced the eternity of God, let's try what Jesus told his disciples to follow him. Let's try to live out Jesus' work, and I'm sure the Holy Spirit will be there to help us and connect us to God, and we will experience eternity.